Hey, this is the follow through. Great to have you here. Uh, we are in uh, Revelation 14. Uh, we're going to look at verses 13, really to the end of the chapter. And this is another picture of the end, another picture of just what's happening in our world and where it's all he heading. And, and there, there's, a, there's a picture of a harvest, a sickle that is being uh, kind of, uh, you know, used. And uh, we, we know that, that God is, is going to do that. And we're actually called to pray about that harvest because what it means for us as believers is that God's going to take us home. It's that, it's that His Word is bearing fruit, right? And so there's going to be an end. There's going to be a finish to this. But in, in verse 13, you have this, this beautiful picture. I, I want this to comfort you. When you. I want you to hear this voice from heaven saying, write this. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord from now on. That puts a whole different meaning to, to, to death for us who believe in Jesus. Yeah, it's sad because we're going to miss the people around us. And when we think about our lives, there's so many things we love here. Uh, many of them godly, amazing things. Um, and so uh, on that point, it's, it's rough. But ultimately, it's, it's a beautiful thing and it's a blessed thing, he says. Blessed indeed, says the Spirit, that they may rest from their labors for their deeds, follow them. Again, who we are is, is, is been termed, be determined by God. He has given His life for us. He has claimed us. His name is on our foreheads. We, we are um, His children. And so what we do flows out of that. And, and the things that we do that are eternal are going to follow us. They're going to go with us. They're going to speak for us. They're going to proclaim both now and in eternity how great our God is. So let's see what we do in that light. So you know what? What, what am I doing that's eternal? What, what am I doing that's making an impact that's going to be for eternity and change maybe somebody's destination and, and maybe their, their future? How cool is that? And it's, and it's so important for us to see that there's a rest from all of this. In fact, every day there's a rest. As we look at this image, as we look at this picture, as we look at this truth. Jesus said, come to me, all you who are weary and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. It's amazing how the Bible all comes together in here. In, the, in this book of Revelation, as it kind of finishes out what God is doing and, and will do and continues to do among his people. We get to rest. I, I pray that you find rest today, knowing that God has you, knowing that God is with you. That one day we're looking, as we've seen elsewhere in the book of Revelation, where, 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 where He's going to take us home. He's going to wipe every tear from our eyes. There's going to be no more death. There's going to be no more tears, no more pain. What a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. So let's encourage each other with these words. In His name, Amen.